In this video from CCTV Camera Room, we're going to show you how you can use your NVR to access one of the IP cameras web interfaces from the web interface of the NVR. This is very convenient because it does not require you to have a separate PoE switch or to even unplug the camera from your NVR to modify its settings. So here we have the config tool pulled up and in the background we already have Internet Explorer pulled up with the IP address which is the default IP address of our NVR. But if we needed to open up another window for Internet Explorer, we can come over here on the config tool after we've searched for the NVR on our network. You can see it come back up here. And then we're going to click the Internet Explorer icon. And now it brought up another Internet Explorer window, and I'm going to bring it over here in frame to show you that I have the other window here. We're going to close out of this one because it's not quite sized right. And then we're going to close out of our uh, config tool because we have our interface pulled up here. Now we're going to log in with the default username and password that was set by the factory. This is going to bring us to a web page here. We don't have a hard drive in here because we're not recording. And then we're going to bring in our first channel here. So we see we have a camera plugged into it. You can see our warehouse here. Now we're going to go to the Setup tab. And here's where you can see that we have one channel connected to our NVR. We know that it's in the internal ports on the NVR because of the IP address. It gives us the device name and the channel number. And then we see the Web Browse column here. And then there's a little Internet Explorer icon. Now this Internet Explorer icon looks just like the Internet Explorer icon on the config tool. So in order to get to the camera's web interface, we're going to go ahead and click on the Internet Explorer icon. This opens a new tab in Internet Explorer. And as you can see up here, it sets the IP address to the same IP address, but then assigns a port number. What this does is allows the NVR to access the camera through this port number while still letting you also access the camera through this port number. It's a very neat and convenient feature. So now we're going to log into the camera. It has the same credentials as our NVR because the NVR sets the credentials on the camera since it is plugged into the PoE ports on the NVR. So we're going to go ahead and log in here. And now, as you can see, we're completely logged into the camera's web interface. Now we can go wherever we would like to change any of the settings for this camera. Here we can go to the conditions and let's say we want to turn the brightness all the way up. It turns the brightness all the way up. We can set it back to 50 so we don't have such a bright picture. Let's go back to 50 here. All right, and then we can even flip the image if we wanted to. Now this is completely done on the camera since we're on the camera's web interface, but these changes will reflect on your NVR whenever you make changes on the camera itself. So let's say you had a license plate camera and you needed to come in here to, ex to change your backlight settings, your white-black settings, or your day and night settings. And then also license plate cameras will allow you to change their shutter rate and some other advanced features. It also allows you to come in here to network, IVS, after you've enabled the smart plan and clicked save and then you can go ahead and create your IVS rules on the camera itself rather than using the NVR's interface if you would like to do it on the camera yourself. And then also if you were to have a camera that has an internal SD card you can modify your SD card settings from the camera itself rather than having to dismount the camera and connect it into your local network. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.